Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to manage your Hyper-V server core using actually Windows Admin Center. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video we actually set up uh, Hyper-V and we manage it using hyper V manager as you can see here so we have installed a couple of actually virtual machine here you can see that I'm running Ubuntu server here okay and we actually configured that using just the hyper V manager we added the virtual machine and it gives us this wizard then we can actually go to the step by step in order to install virtual machine so in this video I'm going to show you another way that you can use in order to manage actually Hyper-V Core, okay? So actually this is a free application from Microsoft. I already done a video about it so you can take a look at my previous videos. It's called actually Windows Admin Center, okay? So you just go to your Google and you type Windows Admin Center. So the first page is actually the home page for the software, okay? So you click on it and you can download it for free Okay, so download Windows Admin Center. It's just around 80 megabytes. Okay, so when you install it, it's actually a web based application. Okay, here it is. So it's run on port 6516. Okay, so me, I already actually add some servers, but here I will add actually Windows Hyper V. So the process is pretty simple. All you have to do is to click on this button here, add. And we want to add a server which is Hyper-V. So let's add it. And of course here you input the host name or you can just input the server IP address. So mine is 2K, 2K19 Hyper-V. Here we go. We must also import credentials, so I will connect using the admin, administrator, and we make sure the password is correct. And let's add with credentials. So no thanks. Okay, now so you can see that uh, the server has been added successfully so this is the server that we have just added okay so let's uh, click on it and I will show you actually what we get so this is an overview of our Hyper-V server so we have here the computer name we have uh, actually the version also the installed memory the disk space, so all the most important information are added here. We have the processor also, the manufacturer, because here I'm using VMware for installing this Hyper-V. And of course here we have utilization in graphical user interface. Okay, we have how much memory that we are using and also the utilization of uh, actually our Ethernet which is actually our internal switch here okay so as you can see here I'm using the dark mode but you can switch using the settings here you go to the account or actually the personalization and you can switch between dark mode and light mode if you want okay so let's return back to our uh, Windows Hyper-V server here we go so we have a couple of things to monitor here we have here the uptime of course okay but the most important thing here is that we can actually view the virtual machine that are running inside our Hyper-V so here on the left you have uh, some shortcuts 
you have for example here you can use PowerShell you can see the processes the registry you can remote desktop but as I told you the most important thing for us is to view the virtual machine so we click on this uh, link here with your machine so remember we have two one which is stopped which is uh, Windows 7 and we have running virtual machine called Ubuntu server as you can see here okay so this is our virtual machines here that are showing okay so the one that is running is of course Ubuntu server as you can see here so we can just uh, click on it or before that let's see the summary also the summary tabs is very very informative it shows us the, the consumption the utilization of CPU and also on the memory okay and also how many virtual machines that are running and that are off okay so let's go back to our virtual machines here and let's dig deeper for example in Ubuntu server virtual machine here so we click on it here we go we have here the state so you can see the CPU utilization the memory that we have allocated so remember in our last video we have allocated 2 gigabytes for our Ubuntu server we have network nothing is happening now we have root port also nothing is happening now because just it was just for uh, testing purposes okay we also have the path for the virtual hard disk so as you can see here we have put it inside VHD directory inside VM directory in our C drive okay and the checkpoint we haven't set up any checkpoint yet okay but it's uh, pretty nice also a very interesting feature that you can use is that from uh, here you can actually add a virtual machine so without using uh, your Hyper-V manager like right click on your server and see virtual machine here add new virtual machine you can do it from this web interface okay so all you have to do is to click on the virtual add here tab and you and here we go you can add the name for your virtual machine you can choose almost the same steps in the Hyper-V manager so you can choose the generation here so you can choose between generation 1 or 2 also you can configure the path to the virtual machine you can also set up virtual processor the memory so all the things that you have set up in Hyper-V manager okay and of course here the virtual switch will appear here okay so it's neat uh, feature that you can also use from this Windows Admin Center okay another cool thing that I uh, actually notice is that you can go here to the file files and file sharing and you can also view all the disks in your Hyper-V server okay so if you want for example to upload an ISO to the Hyper-V server you can do it from here so remember in our last video we used just file sharing from our Windows 10 machine in order to access the files on the Hyper-V but you can use it here from this web interface in order to do the same thing you can create a directory from here okay or you can just go for example if you want to upload another ISO to your Hyper-V all you have to do is to click on this link here so as you can see here I already uploaded the ISO for Ubuntu server but if you want to add an ISO for another installation you can just click on this three dots here more and upload the file that you want you can select or drive the file okay so it's neat uh, actually trick that you can use with your Windows Admin Center in order to upload 
files directly to your Hyper-V server. And let me switch back to the dark mode because I like it pretty neat. Okay, here we go. So that was just an overview of this uh, Windows Admin Center actually applied to our Windows 2009 Hyper-V server. Okay. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.